it's, it's also possible to photograph really mindlessly, right? And just shoot, shoot, shoot. You've got that quote unquote spray and pray mentality. <laughs> like I'll just shoot every possible angle and then maybe I can find something to salvage later in post-production. So yeah, that is not present at all. But if you ever find yourself there, you know, you can just slow down, remember to breathe, really look deeply. And what happens is you can make deeper connections with um, your subject and with the environment. And I also think it's a wonderful practice because you can hear your intuition a little bit better because you just have the space to really feel, to really tap into emotion. And all of that leads to better pictures and more resonant pictures and photographs that are just filled with meaning because we were truly present when we made them. So I love to make intimate little images in and around my home. We used to travel a lot before the pandemic, but um, even when I'm traveling, I'm most attracted to quiet, kind of intimate, homey little scenes. And I think it's really nice to remember that there is great beauty and possibility in very simple, very humble everyday spaces. So you just don't need flashy scenes or subjects to make strong photographs, you know? Um, there's that fantastic comment, I have no idea who said it, but it's something like, if you can't make great photographs in your own backyard, how are you gonna make them on the Italian Riviera? You know, I just love that. So yeah, it's really good to remember, especially right now, that we have wonderful raw materials at our fingertips all the time. And wherever you are, you have light, you've got shadow, you have your familiarity with the way the light moves through your home at different times of day. And that deep intimacy with the space, that is so helpful in making strong images. So this is just a photograph of the wind lifting the curtain at our back door. It's about as simple as it gets. 